Australia Post CEO Christine Holgate has resigned following a luxury watch scandal. They got watches. So how many watches did you buy? I, if I recall correctly, and Gary may recall, I think it was four people. In a statement, the now former Australia Post boss said, The current issue I am managing is a significant distraction, and I do not believe it is good for either Australia Post or my personal well-being. Consequently, I have made the difficult decision to resign, hoping it will allow the organisation to fully focus on serving our customers. Last month, Holgate confirmed she handed out four Cartier watches to senior executives as a reward for securing a deal to do banking at post offices. The watches are estimated to have amounted to nearly $20,000. The luxury watches come on top of already vast executive salaries. Last year, Holgate was paid $2.2 million, including an $831,000 bonus. Despite the company being essentially government-owned, the chief executive claimed no taxpayers' money was used to purchase the watches. I have not used taxpayers' money. The federal government reacted strongly to the news. We are the shareholders of Australia Post, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Australian people. I was appalled. It's disgraceful. And it's not on. Financial documents also revealed that in the 2018-2019 financial year, Australia Post spent $382,604 on plants across 25 offices. Australia Post is now at the centre of an independent investigation. 